I dalje pratite Grand Magazine na Grand Narodnoj televiziji. Je sad jedna potpuno nesvakidačnja priča. Čovjek dolazi iz Teksasa, živi u Beogradu. Ne govori najsjajnije srpski, međutim, dobro se snalazi i sa našim rečima. Ono što jeste zanimljivo, u Knez Mihajlovoj on peva numere iz zlatnog doba muzike, kako oni vole to da kažu, stari rock'n'roll na srpskom jeziku. Danas ćemo razgovarati sa njim, a poslušat ćete i kako sve to on izvodi, kao što rekao u Knez Mihajlovoj. Kiki, bravo sa nama. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you too. Please tell us your story. You're from Texas, and what brings you in Belgrade? Samo da pitamo ga prosto šta ga dovodi u Belgrade, s obzirom da je iz Texas. Well, I lived in Croatia for two years, and I was performing music there. Živeo sam u Hrvatskoj, izvodio sam muziku. Yeah. And I was playing at this restaurant in Zagreb, and I started to learn a lot of XU songs for the people that were coming there to eat. Sam u restoranu u Zagrebu i slušao sam, izvodio sam pesme koje su ljudi tražili, je li tako? And uh, I really wanted to come to Belgrade to start find find a deeper aspect of the music scene because a lot of the XU music started here in Belgrade, Sim. some of my favorite stuff like EKV and Čorba i things like this. I zato sam želao da dođem u Beograd da poslušam zapravo gde je sve to negde počelo i volim jako grupe kao što je KV, Riblje Čorba i tako dalje. Da. Love brought you in Croatia. Yes. What is with your love now? We don't see each other anymore. It lasted for about a year or so, but it got me all the way from Texas to Croatia. Ljubav ga je dovela u Hrvatsku, dve godine je proveo tamo, međutim već posljednje dve godine nije u kontaktu sa tom osobom zbog koja je došao iz Teksasa u Hrvatsku. Tell me something, you don't speak Serbia very well, but you understand what you sing? Yeah, I understand and pričam samo malo srpski, ali ne slušam bo very well, you know. It's better when you sing. About 35%, you know, of speaking and listening. What is your favorite song? Just anything. I really like Krug. Krug, EKV. EKV. I Smejem se, A Plakao Bi, Oliver Mandić. Oh, Oliver, great. I Makedonia, Daro Topic. So many things. Uh, I have like a whole list of songs that I could say, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Do you have some other songs you sing? Only Serbian songs and rock or something else? Maybe something from Texas? Um, yeah, I sing some, some blues and rock and a little bit of kind of country rock like Johnny Cash or mm -hmm. Willie Nelson or something like this. Samo da kažemo da sem pesama naših koje izvodi ovde i tog XU roka, on peva i pesme koje je Johnny Cash i još neke strane pesme blues i ostalo. Tell me something, and what people say to you when they for the first time heard you singing EKV or something else? Well, when I was first in Belgrade, I went to this park, Studenski Trg, and I was playing for some people, and I was playing EKV, and they were just going crazy, you know, like thinking, it was party. this guy's <laughs> not from Texas, he's not from Texas, he's a Serb, you know. Like. <laughs> I rekli su, nije teksašanin, on je srbija, on je naš. Do you feel like a guy from Srbija or a guy from Texas? It's really strange because I feel like wherever I am, I'm at home, you know. I don't really see the the borders as much as a musician. It's just a artistic thing, you know. It's like, I mean, music, I can go anywhere, you know, and be myself. Kao umetnik i kao muzičar ne poznaje granice i gde god da je, osjeća se kao kod svoje kuće. Sad da ćemo poslušati pesmu. Može. Natašu. Natašu, prvo Natašu. We are going to see video. Okay. You playing and singing Natašu. A gdje je Nataša? Kaže Kiki Brava. To mu je umetničko ime. Why Kiki Brava? It's your stage name. Well, it became, it's my Serbian, you know, stage name, like Kristijan. Kristijan becomes Kristijan. And Kristijan is Kiki, like Chris. 
And then my last name is Locke, so it's like Brava. <laughs> and it sounded better than Kluchanica. So. <laughs> it's great. Yes. <laughs> it's great. Uh, tell me, uh, where do you live? Here in center or where? Yeah, I live in Starigrad, uh, Blizu Skadalia. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you like there? Yeah, yeah, it's, I like the this Bohemian Quarter area. There's something, some kind of magic in the air there, yes. I think. It's the heart of Belgrade. You live in the city center where is soul of the city. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. I, try, I moved around like three times and uh, each place I lived, it's like five minute here, five minute there, you know, it's in the same place. Živi kod Skadarlije, prokomentarisali smo da je to samo srce grada. Kaže, da, i ta duša grada se tu najbolje osjeća i kaže, selio se, međutim, tu mu je najbolje, sve mu je na pet minuta. What is the biggest difference in living in Belgrade and USA? Koja je najveća razlika u tome što živi ovde i u Belgradu, u Belgradu i Amerike? I suppose I could answer a lot of things. Um, where I grew up, you know, near Dallas in Arlington, Texas, you have to have a car, you have to drive everywhere. It's, it's 45 minutes to go to some bar and play a gig, you know. Here, it's really nice because I can walk around, take the public transportation, and just, I don't have to have a car and all this stuff. It's a smaller city, you know. It's, I think Dallas is like 7 million people. And, Dopada mu se to što je zapravo gdje živa u Teksasu morao je 45 minuta da ide kolima da bi se prevezao do nekog odredišta. Ovdje mu je sve tu na nekih 5 minuta ili može svakako da ide. I ne mora da ima automobil, može da koristi javni prevoz. And I like the coffee culture a bit here, like it's very relaxing. Drinking coffee. Stress free, you know. What is your favorite coffee? Cappuccino i macchiato, espresso. Voli kulturu ispijanja kafe ovdje kod nas, dopadaju mu se cappuccino i macchiato. Our organization, Ana, just told us that you do yoga in backstage. Is this true? Yeah, I guess so. Organizator Ana nam je zapravo rekao da. For relaxing or? I've been doing yoga for about 15 years and I'm also very much into meditation. And I really feel like that... I could say that that changed my life in a big way. You know, it allowed me to have more freedom to do what I really wanted to do and mm -hmm. just be f free of uh, fear and worry and stress, you know. And borders. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yo <laughs> City borders. <laughs> Yoga mu zapravo pomaže da bude nekako i slobodan i da se slobodi stresa i svega ostalog, tako da je zbog toga i to. Već 15 godina je praktikuje i pomogla mu je, promenila je, bitno je promenila njegov život, postoje slobodniji, oslobodio se i straha. And uh, for the end of our conversation, just told us what is your plan for the future and uh, when do you perform and where? That's a great question. As far as my performances, I don't have anything on the schedule yet, but if anyone's watching and wants to book me, please give me a, a ring. How? Um, How to do that? You can get on my website. It's uh, kikibrava.com. And you are in uh, Facebook? Yeah, uh, also on Facebook, and you can watch my videos on YouTube as well. Just type in Kiki Brava on YouTube. Znači, na pitanje koji su mu planovi za budućnost, evo, poslali su ima negde apel, ukoliko imate neku ideju i da ga bukirate, možete to učiniti na potražiti ga na Facebooku ili website njegov Kiki Brava. And we have to ask you, do you like girls in Belgrade? Absolutely, yeah. Do you have any girl here? No, not yet. I did want to say that I do have a couple of few ambitions right now. One is to record my first single, which I'm in the process of doing. It's called Ona na Lepša. And uh, it's my first... Protestu je da snimi svoj prvi single, zvaće se Ona najlepša. Dakle, ima ozbiljne planove kada je muzika u pitanju. My first Serbian. I wrote it in Serbian. And... Kiki, I found that you are looking for girls for a video. Šarlok Robata, Ona se budi. Yeah, yeah. We already recorded the Ona se budi. And we're looking for somebody to be the owner of the video. We, we had a few submissions already, but I haven't made a decision yet. Okay. Samo da kažemo, znači, da traže i devojke za spot Ona se budi poznatog sastava Šarlok Robata. Također možete i više informacije potražiti na njegovom web sajtu Kiki Brava. That's it. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much.
uh, and for the end we are uh, watching and um, listening another uh, song. I think it's Atomsk uh, Sloniš that treba ima za ljubav treba za ljubav treba ima duš. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you, it's a pleasure. And for your time.